Welcome again to Blow Your Mind Learning with Lyle Dilly. Now I'm going to teach you how to move an animation from the stage into a symbol using Adobe Animate Creative Cloud. All right. So uh, in the last tutorial, um, I had actually shown uh, how to make a cool uh, coin flip using Adobe Animate using a 3d tool um, if you want to learn how to do this and you missed the last tutorial I'll provide a link in the description all right but what we're gonna learn real quick is we go oh man this is a really cool coin flip but boy this would be better served if this was inside a symbol so I could actually move this coin flip within an animation and have it do other things but unfortunately this animation as you can tell is on the main stage all right, so there's only so much that I can do with it. I can do this a lot more if this was a separate symbol. So I actually want to move this animation, move these symbols in this animation into a new symbol, okay? It's really easy to do. It's kind of a quickie, okay? All I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the animation that I want to move. I'm going to right click and cut the frames, very important. To cut the frames, I'm moving it off the stage. I'm cutting the frames, all right? Anybody who says cut, you can also copy, but I say do cut. Cut is going to make your life easier and do less stuff later. I'm going to press cut. Now it's I've removed it from the stage, okay? Now, what I want to do now is I'm going to go to the library, and I'm going to click right up here and do a new symbol, new symbol you see that over there in the corner new symbol when i click new symbol oh i need to uh, name it keep it movie clip okay i'm going to say that this is going to be a coin flip all right press ok all right if you notice i am now inside the coin flip you can tell that because over here it says coin flip i'm now inside the symbol it's an empty symbol so let's fill it you look there's a new timeline inside it oh so is it as easy as you might think yes it is i right click this and paste the frames i just cut bam inside the new symbol is the cool coin flip okay now that i've done that i'm going to go ahead go back to the main scene see over here in my library there is a new oh look there's a new symbol now that i have an empty stage and a new symbol i can now animate it i can animate it by dragging it over right all right anybody can see the thing i'm going to zoom this out i'm going to start over here maybe start it a little lower right i'm going to right click and create a cool motion tween that means at the end of mine, I, after four seconds, I want it to go ahead to go to the other side. Right? Right down here. I'm going to make it smaller, like it's going into the distance. Right? Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Now I can also... What can I also do? I'm going to get off of free transform and go to selection. With selection, I can curve it. So now I've got this thing. Oh, I want to preview this animation, right? Let's try it. Got a really interesting coin flip. Now, I notice, if you notice though, it only does one flip because the coin flip in itself was only one second. You go, oh, well, I, I need this to go faster. Well, worry not. It's really simple. Let me just go ahead and show you how to speed this up. I speed this up by actually going into the cool coin flip. And it's so easy to drag these animations around and consolidate. So if I wanted to double the speed, I actually just move these around. Look, see how it's doing that? Move it around move it around look right after the thing look how easy this is to manipulate the times of this right maybe get this a little bit better between yeah maybe that a little bit better 
All right, so now it's going to flip twice instead of once just by doing this consolidation, okay? So let's go back to the scene, press control enter and see how that looks. All right, this is a, a neat little tutorial about how to take your animations from the stage, put it into its own symbol so it can do a really cool three-dimensional coin flip, okay? Thank you for listening, uh, again, for Blow Your Mind, learning with Lyle Tilly.